Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on how you feel versus how they feel. So let's go straight into this video. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. So let's get started. Please choose group number one, group number two, or group number three about how you feel versus how they feel. So let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one with the citrine. So let's have a look into your situation with this person. Um, I I'm going to shuffle the cards as we go because I just want to lay them out as we go, okay? So those cards that I just had at the start were just for reference, okay? So how do you feel about them? Let's see. Okay, we've got the king of cups. Gorgeous, great start. We have ace of pentacles. Queen of Swords. And let's see how they feel about you. The Hangman. Page of Pentacles. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Two Pentacles. Amazing. And we also have... Okay. We have the Hierophant. Oh, sorry. Not the Hierophant. Okay. So the Hierophant for some reason. The Emperor. The Tower. And the Three of Wands. Okay. Okay, and then what's the overall energy between the both of you? What's the current relationship at right now? Okay, we have Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. Amazing, gorgeous. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles underneath you guys. So I do feel like you could be working with a Taurus uh, or just somebody who is an Earth sign. So let me just arrange these so it's a bit easier for you guys to have a look. And then we're just going to clarify it with the Moonology deck. What's the overall energy? How you feel about them? Scratching my head, so I'm not sure if one of you guys is scratching their head while watching this video, or you're kind of confused about the situation. What's the overall energy of how you feel? Okay. We have emotions are running high. Yep, I can feel that. Yep, definitely. I feel like you guys are on your seat at the moment. And how do they feel about you? What's the overall energy about how they feel about you? And then what's the overall energy of this situation currently? Wow. Oh my God, you guys have got an amazing, you guys have got an amazing group. Okay. Bring love into the situation. I do feel like you both love each other equally, which is absolutely amazing. You may not have vocalized it. You may not have actually spoken about it, but I do feel like you love each other a lot. Both of you are very, very, very similar. Okay. Because we have two pentacles here as well on each side. And we also have kind of two very strong, independent people. Both of you have got... Okay, so let's start off with this side. Sorry, I'm getting really excited. <laughs> I feel like with the citrine, this crystal, I was really feeling that you're very translucent, transparent. Where you can basically see through each other. Like you really, really like each other. Um, and you can really see through each other. And it just feels really pure and clear and fresh, like fresh water, it feels like. I feel like this is definitely a romantic um, relationship. So obviously, if this, is not, is it, yeah. if this is not romantic, possibly this is not for you. Or choose another group. There we go. So, as I thought about it, because I'm not sure if the other two groups are getting romantic or not. But that's what I'm getting, okay? So, just choose another group. Do what feels right to you, okay? So, we have the King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. You want to go towards this person. You love this person. You feel really, really great about this person. They're very, very homely. They're very amazing. I feel like you've worked on yourself. You'll, look, you'll be like, look how independent I am. Look. Look at me. Pick me up and just take me home. <laughs> Pick me up, take me home, and let's do some stuff. <laughs> That sounds so weird, but I was like, this, it felt like almost like pick me up and take me on your journey of life, which is really, really lovely. This person's hard work is paying off. They have gone through a lot of stuff where I feel like you have as well. And I feel like they have worked on their money for a long time and now it's their time to actually go forward and go into love. So the overall energy is a new romantic cycle begins, which is absolutely perfect, you guys. Um, this person is coming towards you. You could be coming towards them. Obviously, it doesn't really matter, but they are aiming towards this side. So they're coming towards you and a new romantic cycle is beginning. This is exactly the card that we want for the new romantic cycle. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Wow, 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 wow. You guys have got a gorgeous spread. And it's just like confidence. It's not as sort of like confidence. I'm seeing in the next five, the next five something, so next five days, five weeks, possibly five months. It depends when you're watching this. Um, I'm getting five. Five is very prominent. Could even be the number that you see when you meet this person, etc., etc. Could even be five months older than you, five years older than you, etc., etc. Five just should, could be your number. Could even be your life path number or their life path number. Okay, could mean various things. Also, I'm getting a number six. 
and the same thing applies. So we have the Hangman, the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Tower and the Three of Wands. So I don't feel like this person actually is kind of knowing that you want to be with them, but they do want actually want to be with you. So they don't know that you like them. Okay, they possibly could know because they're thinking about it and they want to go towards you. But they need to go through this tower moment to actually get here. So I do feel like they're going to have a sudden like boom and then they're going to come towards you. Okay, so they're just hanging right now, figuring out what they want to do, working on their monies and kind of being in their own power. Then suddenly they're going to be like, boom, coming towards you. And it could be traveling as well from like a far off place, could even be a different country. Um, could even just be traveling to just come and see you and I just feel like this is amazing So how they feel about you is they do like you um, They are a bit confused because I feel like they weren't expecting to have a relationship or be in a relationship Because I feel like they have been, have been messed around a lot or they just have been through quite a lot And they need to stand their ground a lot, but I do feel like they don't have to do that with you They just feel like they might have to like from the past. They're basically on the past But actually they just need to stand in their ground and just be a general amazing person. They just need to kind of um, be confident in their attitude towards love and boom going forward okay so I do feel like this is their single life here and then this is like boom coming towards you they just need to have a little think about what they want so as I say five is very very prominent okay I'm seeing for a lot of you um, if you already know this person five and you're actually like talking to them five uh, even five days could even be five days that you actually get into a relationship with this person I do feel like Definitely, 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 definitely. I'm gonna have a clarify and have a look on a zodiac signs um, and just see what's coming through. I'm definitely seeing Pisces, Cancerian, and Scorpio, all the water signs. I'm getting Capricorn, Aries. We've got Leo here as well. We've got Libra. Possibly could just be generally all the signs, but I'm do seeing a stronger sense with oh, with fire signs and water signs. Okay, and Earth. I'm not really seeing much about air. But could even be air because we've got the Knight of Swords. We've got so many star signs here, guys. Damn, it could even be just all the star signs for you guys, actually. I feel like the emotions for you guys are just so intense. We also got Scorpio. So if your star sign hasn't come up, you guys have it here anyway because you have like like Pisces here, Earth here, Air. Um, we also have um, Earth here. We have, uh, what else do we have? We have um, fire, Libra. So it's all here, guys. So if I didn't pick out your star sign, it doesn't mean that it's not coming, okay? So basically, all the star signs of this group. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, also, if the star sign is actually here, then that is definitely who they are, okay? Just saying, but yeah, pretty much all the star signs because we also have, so we have water, air, earth, and uh, and fire so uh there you go then guys thank you so much for watching i really hope this helped much love to you if you'd like to uh get a private reading with me all the information is down below and on the screen here if you'd like to subscribe to my channel the red button is down below please click it if you'd like to like this video please do if you'd like to comment down below please do um if it doesn't resonate then just let it fly or choose another group thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you very soon thank you for watching and for being here Bye guys, love you. Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. Um, obviously I haven't got the cards set out right now because those cards are just for reference. I'm actually going to pull the cards out as I go. So we have this gorgeous stone here. I do feel like you guys are very confused about where you are at the moment. It's very misty. I feel like you're kind of confused. It feels foggy. Your head feels foggy. You're like, what the hell's going on? Please just tell me, Vicky. Please help me. Please, Lord help me. So that's kind of what I'm getting, okay? <laughs> I'm getting like a very foggy energy. This could even be with a family member as well. But if, it, if I pick up on romantic, it's going to be more romantic, okay? So how do you feel about them in this situation? Page of Wands, we have the Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Sun. We also have Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. Okay, kind of a very confusing energy. It's kind of like, I like you, I don't like you. End of a cycle, like you, like you, don't like you. <laughs> okay, so how do they feel about you? We have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. The Devil, uh, Five of Cups, okay, Two of Wands, they just told me what this is, so I'm going to tell you in a second, Queen of Pentacles, and then what's the overall energy between you both? We have the Nine of 
wands what else with the please clarify the nine of wands with the six of swords and underneath we have the four of wands okay so i do feel like there is potential for you two to be together i feel like you feel comfortable semi-comfortable i'm feeling because sometimes i feel like you can have an argument where you just feel a bit confused one minute you really like this person and then the next minute you just feel very very confused okay so this is the overall energy in the middle so on your side i feel like you like this person you see potential but you're also kind of thinking about it a lot you're in your head but i do feel like an overall cycle could end and you could easily be with this person but i do feel like you may have doubts and you may have trust issues i do feel like this is an unstable kind of ground on with this relationship because i do feel like and i do feel like this could actually be friendship or a co-worker somebody who means a lot to you i do feel like though um i feel like they're focusing more <clears throat> on their money and work i feel like it could have a work addiction it could be workaholic it could be something they're telling me chocoholic they could love chocolate a bit too much um or beer like alcohol um and i feel like they're looking more towards the past and they're kind of got this pride energy where they're not really letting go but i do see you really like this person because you feel like they're very confident but i do see it as more of a karmic relationship and don't take this in a bad way it doesn't mean it's never going to end up working out but i do feel like you need to work through your stuff first before you actually get together because i see one of you holding on to who you are and kind of saying no no, no i don't want to see i don't want to be who i actually am i don't want to be my natural self and then on their side it's like i just don't want to get involved <laughs> i want to move away from anything toxic i kind of don't mean really, i can't really handle this right now okay so let's see um on your side you do like this person though so i do feel like we've got a new start is coming so it's like there's two versions of this it's almost like for some of you if you really want to be this person i do see working out but you've got to work through your own stuff so what's on your side why is this card the wrong way around okay um so how do you feel about them how do they feel about you and how, what's the current relationship right now gorgeous and then what's the um future relationship please what's one of the potential what's the potential of this relationship thank you yeah, it feels almost like a love-hate relationship. Um, we've got nothing is yet set in stone. So I feel like if you're just unstable you're, or you're feeling unstable within this friendship or relationship or whatever it is, don't worry. It will sort itself out. If you're either with them or not, it will sort itself out and you will be with somebody who deserves you, okay? So I do feel like one of you is being more stubborn than the other. Either or, I'm not sure. But one of you is being more stubborn than the other. One of you is wanting to just move forward. I do feel like you will. But I do feel like you both need to give more rather than take. I feel like you actually need to give both, both of you need to give yourself to this situation. You both need to say how you feel. One of you needs to stop holding back. One of you is really stubborn. Like one of you is annoying me. <laughs> because basically one of you has crossed your arms and is facing the opposite way. So I feel like one of you is like, I don't want to talk about this. I really don't want to talk about this. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk about this. So it's either you or them. I'm not judging. Obviously, this is obviously just a very confusing time. So I'm not judging at all. Um, but I do feel like you will be on a successful rate, whether with this person or just you all kind of, you will come out on top. Okay. You will come out on top. Um, this person may come out on top, but I do feel like you are just generally going to be moving away from the situation if this doesn't serve you, because I do feel like an old cycle could be going and you're entering a new one with the sun. So I do feel like there could be some sort of potential for this person, but it is, it's very kind of un unsure right now. But if you want to be this person, then yes. If you're not really sure and you already kind of watched this video just for clarification, then probably not. And you possibly could be moving on away from them, okay? They need to give to you more, I feel like. Um, because I feel that they feel unsafe. Hence why we've got addictions here. And they're working too hard on their money, okay? So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, if this resonated, please comment down below. If it didn't, then just let it fly or choose another group. Feel free to subscribe. As I said, uh, click the red button down below. Also, if you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is in the description. Um, I have all my readings linked in the description, so you can choose which one you want. You can also connect me in on email or Instagram if you would like to uh, get a private reading with me. Also, follow me on Instagram if you would like to. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I really, really appreciate you. You guys mean the absolute world to me. Thank you for supporting me on my journey. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. We have the gorgeous Amethyst. It actually has an angel on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. 
Um, but yeah, so the angels and guides are here with you. And basically, I also haven't got the uh, cards spread out right now because those cards are just for reference. I'm actually going to shuffle the cards for you today. And we're just going to see in real time what's kind of what's going what's going on. Sorry if my speech is going weird. Cancer and Moon is really confusing my brain and it's not just and Mercury retrograde. Okay, so sorry guys if I can't speak properly. So yes, Amethyst, I feel like you guys have a spiritual connection. I feel like you are meant to meet this person, okay? It could even be a romantic friendship or whatever, kind of whatever I'm feeling. Could be that. I'm sensing quite a few different um, versions of a relationship. So it could be friendship, romantic, whatever, you know, one of those. I took my words. Wow, guys. Okay, so you could also be having communication issues with this person because oh, my words are really not coming out today. I thought like you guys could also be stressed um, and also wanting to get openness and passion and compassion with this person. Possibly could be feeling trapped and restricted and possibly exposed and restrained. Okay, those are the words I'm getting very random, but there we go. So how do you feel about this person? Whoa, yeah. jeez. <laughs> How do you feel about this person in this um, dynamic, please? Thank you very much. For some reason, they're telling me it's a long shot. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm seeing or hearing. Uh, what else? Wow, Justice. That's, that's the card I like to see. Amazing. I can see you stand your ground. One of you is very stubborn. I feel like possibly both of you in a different way. Okay, so that is how you feel about them. Let's see what they feel about you. Let's move these cards over a little bit more. Got more room. Sorry about the light glaring, guys. Can't really do much about that right now. So, okay, how do feel about you? I don't feel like this is the right card. Okay, so how do they feel about you? We have the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like they can feel like they're higher up than you for some reason. The Eight of uh, Cups, Two of Swords. I feel like if you are a woman, this is a man. If you're in a male, um, female relationship, this is a man. Um, is what I'm getting like really, really strongly. Okay, and no, I don't want all of those. Okay, we have one more, please. There's more of a masculine energy on this side and a female energy on this side, like a feminine energy, masculine energy. Ace of Swords as the overall energy, so I'm just going to pull that one out. And then what's the uh, future relationship? Also for the Ace of Cups. So there is love here, guys. It is, it's just a little bit underneath everything. So uh, what else here, please? Okay. And can you please clarify the Five of Cups? What's the overall relationship that's going to happen? Okay. Seven of Cups, if we have one more, it's a future relationship. Ace of Wands, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, right, we have the Four of Swords underneath. You guys are contemplating this whole situation. I do feel like if this is romantic, possible romantic, then you guys do love each other, okay? I feel like you could actually be in a relationship with this person already, and you want a break, <laughs> okay? You want a break, um, and you're figuring out whether you still want to be with this person or not. Um... Okay, so how do you feel about them? I'm suddenly getting really, really hot. So I do feel like there's a lot of like heat. Okay, and how do they feel about you? Can we have one more please on their side? And one more on your side. Gorgeous, there we go. Yeah, this is more romantic, guys. Um, emotions are running high, exactly. That's exactly the emotions that I'm feeling. I'm getting super, super hot. Right, so on your side, you love this person. You wanna be with this person. I feel like you can genuinely be with this person. You are just going through a cycle right now. It's all in divine timing. You're working through your emotions and you just wanna go forward, okay? Uh, there's gonna be justice where I do feel like you could actually be in a relationship with this person. We have two really strong figures here. We have the Emperor and we have Justice. Both very strong figures. I do feel like you're channeling both of these. I feel like you could be a fire sign or generally channeling just this fire energy. It's taken you a lot of strength to get through this and it has been quite a struggle. And so this, this could just be your head where you're just thinking, 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 and it's like, ugh, retired. Really <laughs> 
and I do feel like this is ending the end to the overthinking because the moon is to do with thinking as well and just emotions and all the stuff in your head that's not been surfaced and that is ending now that is ending and it's absolutely amazing and there's an end to this struggle here we've got justice with the um, five of wands I actually didn't put these cards next to each other like this but I do feel like this that it's like I mean the strength to go through this we can do this we can do this um, don't mean to rhyme, but that is what's coming through. Um, I do feel like you are needing the strength to go through this. Um, and you're going to get justice for... Um, you're basically going to stop overthinking, okay? There's going to be no more overthinking. I'm scratching my head too, so there's no more confusion. You're going to have some sort of conclusion or closure. Maybe not physical closure if this is somebody who's really, really irritating. If you don't want to be with them, then you're probably not going to get closure. If they're too righteous... Uh, if they're too narcissistic then you're probably not going to get closure but for other people who's who is the, the other person on this side who wants to put in the effort you will get closure and this is an end to a, a horrible cycle and you're going to get away from this okay you guys are moving forward together at the moment you guys are kind of moving forward together but possibly not actually together you're actually separated you're not actually with each other in the same room and this like you actually haven't met up this person for a long time but you are moving together on the same path okay so you're not separating so, we also have surrender to the divine on your side. So, just surrender to the, to the divine. It's going to sort itself out. We have a new romantic cycle begin. So, you will probably get with this person. And you, if you want to be this person in a romantic sense, then yes, you will. Um, on their side, they're very confused. They want to move away from this energy. I feel like they're moving away from an old cycle too. And they're moving into a much more amazing one, which, ha which has so much more emotional fulfillment. It's like they're moving away from this old cycle. And then with this one, we have the eight of cups with the queen of cups it's almost like i'm moving away from anything toxic and i'm replacing it with amazing gorgeous fortune we then have the two of swords with the seven of pentacles where you basically are coming out of confusion into a gorgeous kind of like success and then we have adjustments required this is basically just them working through their emotions and you working through yours you possibly could be waiting on communication from this person i do see that actually happening because the fiery climax approaches i see this person getting so pent up like oh my god i just want to tell them how i feel i'm just gonna do it just gonna do it and that's what it, that's that judgment energy this, sorry justice energy actually do we have judgment justice no we had justice okay we had justice and the emperor it's that energy where it's like i'm just gonna decide i'm just gonna do it 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 <laughs> and that's this ace of wands energy a passionate start okay definitely for some of you it could be family obviously not passionate but some of you for family i do feel like if you really really love this person it could be a sister could even be a soulmate like a girl soulmate could even be like if it's a girl um a friendship with a girl um or a friendship with a guy it's just like a a very very strong soulmate connection and soulmates can be your family as well but i do feel like if you love this person a lot and they're almost like your best friend and soulmate definitely okay so it's almost like you started off with the ace of swords and you ended with the ace of wands which is amazing there's always been movement but you might not have seen it in the physical we then have the five of cups and then we have the seven of cups so it's almost like you're going from you're adding two cups into this so it's almost like you're adding the two of cups which is like two which means relationships you're adding that and then you've got more options now because you're you both are thinking about how much emotions you want to give to this and then it's like boom amazing so i do see definite amazing cycle for you guys it's going to be absolutely amazing i see positive results from this okay so if it doesn't resonate then just let it fly if it did please feel free to comment down below i love you guys so much thank you so much for being here you guys are absolutely amazing i love you um please feel free to subscribe down below click that red button down below um also if you'd like to give this video a thumbs up please feel free um if you'd also like a private reading with me i do private readings all the information is in the description box down below you can also email me or message me on instagram and that's it thank you so much for being here guys you guys are absolutely amazing um, i'm also getting the name beginning with s or p m d b a and also let's pull a uh zodiac sign before we end possible star signs that you could or zodiac that you could be dealing with Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, and Gemini. 
and Scorpio. Underneath we have Libra. Doesn't have to be any of those signs. Si uh, doesn't have to be any of those signs, guys, because we have all the signs anyway here with the cards. Could just be generally all the signs, but these are just specific, just to help you guys clarify. Okay, so don't get disheartened if this hasn't come up. If the person hasn't come up in these cards. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys.